this video is going to be about Paula Loves It. Um, a very good friend of mine um, from New York. New York. <laughs> um, and has been um, on a, in, in the middle of a scandalous situation on YouTube um, from what happened in real life. And it was all documented and talked about on YouTube. And a lot of people think that Paula Loves It. Um, is a violent uh, person um, and you know I I know Paula loves it only from the screen from the YouTube screen but I just don't believe I just can't believe and I don't believe basically that that Paula loves it uh, was violent um, in those situations two times now there's two examples two stories let's say um, and you know I don't know I don't know where Paula is at the moment I don't have any contact or contact details for Paula I only have the channel and I'm quite distraught to be honest with you about the situation that I don't have any contact with Paula because um, I would like to talk with Paula. I would like also to talk with people who are interested in Paula Loves It. Um, because I think um, shit happens sometimes. Um, uh, things can get out of hand uh, in general. But one of my points is that Paula Loves It um, came onto YouTube um, having lived her life as a man. Um, born a man, lived as a man until the ripe old age or whatever she was when she decided, right, that's it, I, I, I can't live as a man anymore. And I completely understand that. Um, I'm XXY, by the way, if anybody is watching this that doesn't know me. Um, you know, so I'm not trans as such. Um, I'm more on the intersex level. Um, but my point is that I've hormonal problems I'm you know I've been on YouTube for two years of testosterone I can't believe that I've even got friends <laughs> on YouTube uh, in this state of mind do you understand like hormone imbalance is another state of mind to the norm and my points here are maybe Paula loves it because she just recently took oestrogen maybe um, it maybe just overdosed on oestrogen and it was too much for the brain and and uh, I know that hormone imbalance can cause aggression uh, narkiness, paranoia uh, you know all those sorts of things um, and I myself have not trusted um, close friends um, you know, it, it, during my two years' time here, but thank God my close friends have said, Jesus, Gavin, you're fucking fucked up off your head there, you know, but they forgave me. And this is what I'm asking everybody out there to do. I would ask everybody to forgive and forget. Um, I also would like to, in conjunction with talking about Paula Loves It, talk about the person that has given me the most amount of crap that I've ever had to deal with in the last 12 years um, and that um, would be um, the I'll give you the account names that are cancelled now Rogue One, Kiwi, Man Made Ma Man Made Man One I won't give you the actual name of him because the reality is that things have gotten out of hand between myself and himself um, since since I've just looked at my private messages uh, log and it, it seems to be since the end of September of 2008 it started where he changed his tune with me and simply I also want that situation to be a forgive and forget situation um, because you know we can get on on levels you know and we can disagree and argue on other levels and this is obviously what's happened with Paula Loves It, you know. Um, something was misinterpreted or else something was just got out of hand. Um, I personally think that, you know, 
definitely hormones are, are uh, uh, t to do with this mess, you know. Um, talk to any woman, well, most women, let's say, when they've got their periods, you know. Talk to women who've got menopause, you know. Talk to men who will tell you straight out that there is a male menopause as well. But it's not put in the medical textbooks. But anyway, my point is that Paula loves it. I, if you're listening, Paula, would you please contact me because I want to talk to you. Not even for you to explain the two stories. I don't care about that. I just want to talk to you. So if you're watching, please know that I do give a shit about you, right? Um, and, you know, one thing I'll just say in public here is that you know, yeah, there was a few times Paula loves it when you when you said like um, when you insinuated or you said or whatever like you know, oh honey, you know you're you're gorgeous and whatever you know what you were kind of slightly, you know, if not totally, um, you know, flirting with me on a level, you know, and uh, you know as 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 I've said to many people, you know, you know I am gay but I'm lesbian, you know, and you would say, well, Gavin, I'm a woman. You know, and I'd say, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, but my point is that, um, you know, I'm, I'm really, uh, I, I miss your, your, your videos. To be honest, with you. you had some great videos up there, and, um, and I will, um, you know, support you to be yourself, um, regardless if even you were the culprit for starting two fights, or, or one fight and uh, one. Other thing, I'm not even going to go into the details uh, because maybe the details aren't even true. Um, I, I, you know, you know, I did a video anyway, and you commented on the video, you know, and I just, uh, even if you did fuck up, Paula, I mean, yeah, you fucked up, okay, you know, you hit somebody or whatever, I mean, you know, you probably feel regretful about that or guilty, you know what I mean, and that you'll have to live with that. I mean, but. But the reality is that you are a great person on other levels, and and I don't particularly um, admire uh, the YouTube community for for having a, a huge go at you so that you're basically gone from YouTube. You know, uh, you probably feel that you can't come onto YouTube now without getting hounded by millions of people. You know, um, I've had awful situations with them. Um, people of your community, the, the trans community, uh, they don't want to listen to somebody who's got intersex condition, you know, an intersex condition, um, and they're very hostile, aggressive, and stuff like that, so, you know, I've met, virtually online anyway, met many um, trans people that are aggressive, and most of them don't admit that they've got a hormone imbalance, you know, um, the hormone imbalance, either they're taking too little or they're taking too much. You know, it's the same with my kind, the intersex kind, the intersex kind that have to take hormones, because not all intersex people take hormones. Um, most XXYs, my kind, would take testosterone, and then some of my kind would take estrogen, um, and so, some of us also don't take it at all. But I'm, you know, an expert in my own judgment of um, testosterone and how it affects the body. I'm also an expert in my own judgment of how uh, not having testosterone enough in my body affects me and affects the body and affects the brain, you know. Um, so I'd like to put that straight out, like, you know, uh, to everybody out there, especially the trans people that are giving Paula a lot of shit for fucking up, maybe. Maybe Paula just fucked up, you know. Forgive and forget. If it, and especially the Christian trans people out there, definitely forgive if you're going to be a practicing Christian, then bloody forgive, please. Thank you. Um, but I, uh, anybody with any information on, uh, and even in an email for her, I would I would appreciate, um, because I don't have anything, and uh, it's terrible when somebody just, you know, deletes their account. Excuse me. Oh. See, I'm so tired, but but this is important. I need to do this video. If anybody has any information on Paula Loves It, please, please, please contact me. Um, and if you want to tell me your side of the story, then please do. Um, 
that goes to anybody, including Paula. Um, you know, I think Paula was an asset to YouTube, um, and shit happens, as I say, and you know, sometimes things do get out of hand. And uh, you know, the worst thing about this is that now there's no Paula loves it on YouTube. You know, <clears throat> and maybe she's just taking a bit of time to to chill out. But I mean, you know, no human being deserves to feel guilty it, 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 too much. Do you know what I mean? For too long alone, you know. Uh, YouTube is a, a safe haven for so many people, especially trans people, because you can talk with each other here. You know, and uh, so I would like to see a bit more support in the YouTube community. Is what I'm trying to get out here. Okay, peace. Ciao.